the acceptable performance or condition. Some squeaking resulting from normal shrinkage of materials after construction is acceptable. However, floors shall be reasonably free from squeaks caused by movement in the floor system connections under normal seasonal indoor humidity and loading conditions. So this article is very subjective. It has no measurement or anything like that that we can refer to to say, yes, it is warranted or no, it's not. So generally what our field staff will do, they will go into the house, ask where the squeak is, when the squeak occurs. The homeowner says, well, it's only there in the winter and it disappears in the summer. Indi that indicates it's weather related, how much humidity is in the air. But if it's there all year round, then we're going to look a little further. We don't look at the fact that the homeowner says, if you jump up and down in this spot, it's going to squeak. It has to be normal loading pressure, which would be normal walking. It falls under the one year working materials warranty. Squeaks resulting from normal shrinkage of materials caused by drying after construction are excluded from the statutory warranty. The action is any loose connections causing floor squeaks shall be repaired. And some general remarks. Extended low humidity indoor environments can cause excessive shrinkage in the wood resulting in loose floor connections. Excessive high humidity indoor environment can cause expansion in the wood resulting in pressure related floor squeaks. The homeowner must maintain indoor humidity levels to prevent excessive drying or expansion of materials. A permanent squeak-free floor system may not be attainable. Have your service people and anybody going into the house have a hot portable hygrometer. Take a reading every time you're in the house, at the PDA, anytime you're going in to do a service call, then keep a running record of it. It'll just help to know what the humidity levels are in the house. A squeak from movement in framing materials is a very distinct noise. Anybody that's been in construction for a little bit of time knows the difference in those noises from a normal shrinkage noise, from the noise from a piece of grout touching an, an acrylic shower, for example. They all have a very distinct noise. So it is a very subjective one where we can't see what's going on because there's a finished ceiling below, so we have to go with what information is there. Always check. When is it happening? Check the humidity levels in the house constantly, just so you have a running record. Let the homeowner maintain the humidity. Any questions on floor squeaks or? Yes, I have a couple questions. Uh, my first question is, what is normal humidity for a home during the winter months versus the summer months? Should it be the same? There's a range for humidity and it's the same year round and it's between 30 and 50%. And that's been set up by the National Hardwood Floor Association and also Health Canada. Uh, that's between 30 and 50, you have less chance of mold growth and less chance of bacterial growth in a home. So anywhere in that range is, is the best range to keep it. Can you give me some suggestions how to maintain that humidity level in the home? Uh, well, have a portable hygrometer, first of all, or a hygrometer for your service people to check the humidity whenever they're in the home. The homeowner should have a hygrometer of some sort to check humidity. And just running humidifiers in the wintertime to add moisture, dehumidifiers in the summer to take moisture out. Um, even though it is a modern tight home, that's all the more reason that you need those extra pieces of equipment to maintain humidity. Now, is air conditioning a good thing? Air conditioning is a good thing. It dehumidifies the air, but it, you may also need to supplement it with extra dehumidifiers in the basement because the houses, again, are very tight. So they're so tight that the hum air conditioning doesn't run as long as it used to. So now it's shorter cycles, so it's only taking humidity when it's running. So you add a portable dehumidifier just to supplement that. If I'm having some floor squeaks and, uh, and I have dampness in my basement, moisture, high moisture, will that cause the floor squeaks? It can add to the floor squeaks because when there's excess moisture in the basement, the actual framing expands, it gets tighter. And when it's too tight, it hasn't got that normal deflection. So things squeak when it's being forced to deflect in a smaller area. 